Hey team, hope everybody's doing well. A quick update video today. I had a box of the War Games Atlantic Conquistadors just land, which is a nice surprise. So I thought I'd do a quick size comparison video and talk about the kit. I'll start with the size comparison in case anybody wants to just see how it is quickly, then jump out. So I have uh, in the center of the screen a uh, War Games Atlantic miniature that I've just done up quickly. Now just for size comparison, this guy here is a metal Perry Miniatures from the European Army's range. Yes, he will stand. Um, so that's a fairly good fit. We've also got a plastic miniature from the Perry's range. Once again, you can see the size is roughly comparable. Shouldn't be too much surprise that the Perry metal and plastic stack up next to each other. Uh, this is a Warlord, Ga Warlord Games Landschneck, so he's again approximately the same size and a good fit. And the last one I've got to hand for the period is an Artisan Metal uh, Landschneck. Now these ones are slightly bigger than the other ranges, but that's uh, the way Artisan sculpt. So if we're looking at that, comparing it to other... Um, I guess late medieval, early renaissance miniatures, the, the size is roughly comparable. What I've also done, just in case anybody's interested, I've got here, this guy is a Warlord Games miniature from the, uh, uh, the plastic 30 Years War English Civil War um, sprue, so that's the Warlord Games torso, and I've glued onto him uh, some War Games Atlantic arms just to show a size comparison. So that, if I bring it in close, please do excuse me. Uh, you can see on the back it's okay, on the front it's going to require some green stuffing on the right arm. Uh, I've intentionally not touched it up just so I can show you what it looks like to begin with. Uh, but these should be, the spares should be appropriate for kit bashing is the point that I'm trying to get around to making. Similarly, this is a Perry Miniatures torso with uh, War Games Atlantic arms on it. Again, a good fit. Um, this is a really good fit actually. Uh, the Perry Miniatures torsos are slightly less broad than the War Games Atlantic, but not by much. Uh, meaning that if you are using the Perry Miniatures paired arms, so the ones that are effectively one piece on a War Games Atlantic torso, there will be a bit of gap filling. Uh, but the other way, so this is paired War Games Atlantic two pieces um, onto a Perry Miniatures, and this one fits perfectly. Uh, the other thing to consider is the War Games Atlantic heads. Well, the heads and the arms are flat surface to flat surface connections, whereas the, for the Perry Miniatures, it's a ball and socket connection for the head. So again, I haven't, I've intentionally not done anything on this guy, but you can see the head will require a little bit of green stuffing or gap filling around his neck. Uh, but this is well within the realms of what most hobbyists will be able to do without issue. And finally, this is, just for completeness, a War Games Atlantic torso with a pair of Perry Miniatures arms on. So you can see the Perry Miniatures arms designed for the slightly slimmer torso of the narrower shoulder to shoulder point uh, don't quite fit so again there would be some gap filling required and given the ball and socket head I just had to snip off um, the bottom of the ball connection uh, to align it to the flat surface there but I mean this is minor gap filling and minor parts conversion so well within the realms of what most hobbyists would be able to do with plastic um, so that's the size comparison. I say they work well with any of the ranges. So if you're looking at, I guess, getting a box of these just for the conversion opportunities, it's probably well worth it if you're doing anything with regard to um, early Renaissance through to you know 30 years war, English Civil War. You could still be using these for for conversions to. Uh, make more interesting command groups, special characters, or storming parties, or whatever you might want. Um, Alright, so I'll just leave the comparisons there, and I'll talk quickly about the kit themselves. Now, I'm not going to do a sprue... Uh, excuse me. 
not going to do a um, sprue comparison because the images on the website are much more detailed than I could ever get. What I've done, because I was having a hard time working out how much was on there, is I've actually just stripped two sprues right back, which is the piles of stuff you see in the background that I haven't used yet for conversions. Um, so each of the four pairs of uh, sprues, so each sprue contains a, a large frame and a short frame essentially, there's a, a smaller weapon sprue that goes with. So there's four pairs of two sprues for eight title in the box. I've explained that really, really badly. You probably understand where I'm coming from though. Each paired set will give you six torsos, one drum with one pair of arms, three halberds with paired arms, five muskets with paired arms, three crossbows with paired arms, four swords with four shield arms, four shields to go with those, four additional bucklers, six sheathed swords, one crossbow quarrel, so that's just extra detail to glue onto your miniatures. There are seven spears in the kit. Six of these seven are paired arms, and there's an additional arm um, which will, it's essentially, it's an extra left arm, which will either go onto the seventh spear or it can be used on one of the long swords. So there are two long swords, one of which has a complete pair and one which is, again, can be either used on the spear arm or the, um, the long sword. There were a total of 22 heads and there were three additional arms. So if you were desperate, the arms don't match, but you could always cover it with green stuff. You could use one of the additional arms to get the seventh spear or second long sword if you were um, so, so desiring that. So where this leaves us is each individual box will provide each paired sprue, gives you six torsos and 24 paired weapon arms, 25 if you're not concerned about the arms matching. Um, so one single box of conquistadors is going to get you 24 fully kitted out conquistadors and an additional 72 minimum pairs of extra arms for your sprue, um, your bits box. So there is a lot of conversion opportunity in this kit. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, this was the first kit that I've gotten where um, Wargames Atlantic have manufactured in-house in the US facilities, so I was interested to see what the, the quality of the kit was like. Uh, there were mold lines. I had to look really hard to find them. Uh, if you weren't so inclined, you could probably paint these quite easily without removing mold lines. I just gave them a quick um, slide up the side with a sharp knife and the mold lines disappeared almost instantly. It was, it was really, really fast. Um, one thing I will point out, and this was on both the sprues, uh, I don't know if you can see on this angle, but there are a lot of these nodes which is used for the, I think, sprue overflow, um, but this is also has a um, nice benefit, you can't see what's happening here, but a nice benefit that the sprue basically is very um, robust when it's being transported, so um, if we look at these spears here, sorry, I'm not sure if you can quite see, uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six contact points on this particular spear. Uh, now the spear is quite rigid plastic, it's got some flex, um, but between the, the number of attachment points and the, the fact you've got these spacing, excuse me, spacings on the sprue, uh, chances are the stuff's going to get to you in, in really good shape, which is, which is very positive. Um, other thoughts, yeah, the, the only other sort of comments I had, because I know this, this might concern some people, um, the multiple connection points, while they're absolutely great for um, getting the sprues across, it will mean a little bit more cleanup. Um, I'd, I'd personally prefer to have to do a little bit more cleanup than have to try and reassemble spears and things, because... Um, trying to affix tiny points to other tiny points in a way that's going to have them stand up to gaming isn't really what I consider fun. Um, yeah, the only other thing I wanted to point out, because it'll concern some people, the backs of the shields don't have any detail on them. Having said that, though, uh, the... sorry if I can just find one. There we go. The shield arms here 
um, actually have the straps and things so there will be some detail on the back of the shields it's just that there's no um, engraved wood or metal plating or anything on there so if that that concerns people i'm sure they can either you know add something with a brush before they fix it or model the sculpt so that it's um not visible essentially so this shield's held close but look i am really happy with these i'm really keen to to get on and, and start doing up a spanish force for the uh italian wars um, and I'm really happy with all the conversion opportunities that um, this kit presents. <clears throat> so if you're considering a box, um, I'd say it's it's well worth it just for the conversion opportunities. Um, if you've got a friend or someone at the club who's got a box, see if you can hit them up for any of their spares because they'll be very handy to have. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Hope everyone's having a good day. Stay safe and take care.